Hello and welcome back guys to our channel. So on our previous video, we configure and set up a simple blazer project. So now we will try to create the basic functionality which will create, edit, and delete records from SQL Server 2019. So let's get started. So first, I already created a database from my SQL Server 2019. So we just go Blazor. So it only had one table, which is DB customer. So this customer got four fields, so which is ID, first name, last name, and middle name. So the first thing that we need to do is to create a model from this uh, table so this model we need to create under shared let's create our model let's create our models click here add plus customer so we need to update then create a property for id so it's long then id string first string middle name copy paste copy paste so now we successfully created our model under shared Okay, to save first. Okay, so now we need to modify our server because from our server we need to create our API that will uh, do the functionality of create, retrieve, edit, and delete data from our table customer. So, but first we need to make a connection string which is a DB context. Okay, so let's create class which we will call app db context. That should be db context. So package, package manager. Microsoft Core. House. We need to include the this one entity core SQL server. So let's install it. Okay. Accept. Okay. So now we need to add the directive. Remember, we need to make a constructor. This activity context should accept a option is db context options this app db context options and this options we need to pass it to the base class which is db context also make a db set db set which is type Customer, let's go with this one. We need to models. We need property. Get set. Okay, so we're done with this. So now we need to make a settings from where we will put our connection string. So right click, add new existing item, and then we will add a JSON settings, JSON app settings, then add. So as you can see, there is already the default connection string, but we need to change this local DB in this database so our 
database is Blazor and our server is copy copy so the rest the trusted connection and the, the multiple active cell set will just retain as the same so our connection string is default connection okay so the next thing that we need to modify is the program okay so we need to read the new json file that we added so add json file think path which is app settings json then optional is false and then reload or change is We're done with this and the next thing that we need to modify is the startup so we, we will load the configuration by configuration so make a constructor again here and then we need to pass the i configuration i configuration configuration and then we need to make the variable configuration we will assign it so, equals to configuration okay the next thing that we need to modify is the configure so configure service so, services Add the context, which is in the context. Where is this one? And use SQL server, which is coming from configuration that get connection. And then we will pass the connection string here. So, what's the name of our connection string? Which is this one? Default connection. And use entity framework, and then we're done. So, this will automatically create a connection to our SQL Server 2019. So, next thing that we need to create is a controller. Now let's make our controller class the customer controller and it will be controller base By default, it will just can access this API by API slash customer. Okay, we need to add is the by the context. We need to make a constructor so that we can inject the RDB context. Okay. Context, context, then assign it to the read only variable. Context, 
this context, this equals to context. So now we need to add the HTTP get, which is HTTP get public async task async task of action result from where we need to return a list of customer okay we get and return wait contact customer to list async Okay, so next thing that we need to do is a get over a we we'll get a single customer so it should accept a parameter of long ID and the name is get customer so this one can access this API via API customer slash get customer then we need to pass a variable of ID so this one change this to first and default and see ID equals to ID so this one should not be a list because it will return a single customer only and uh, this one should be first or default async because we're doing a async okay so next one we need to do a HTTP post for the insert or create new Think as show result post and we to pass a customer customer. So now we need to add this new customer to our contacts text add customer context save changes async and then now we need to return since we inserted a new record Wait. since we inserted a new record so we need to return it from our database after save so we can get the actual ID of the newly inserted record so the result in the route which is get customer then we need to pass a parameter new ID customer customer that ID and let's see that ID ID then we need to return the customer now we forgot to put it here okay so done so next one we need to create the Put, which is for edit put and the add change this to entry customer and then change the state to the state modified 
then we need save changes so we just know content okay last one is for the delete Pass the ID of the item that we wanted to delete. And delete to customer. 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 ID. Request to ID. To do this contacts remove customer then last we need to save a thing and then return the content so basically we're done with our api so we can test it out okay loading so as i mentioned earlier we can access it via api customer so let's try this one first the get API customer so as you can see it returned the record from our database okay there's two record Dennis and then Rika so let's try to filter it by ID so here we can filter it now by ID by passing the ID so which one which is this one Okay. so now that we have our api we can consume this on our clients that we will do on our next video